Greetings, this is Dr. Derek Ong with the um, continuation of the SPSS usage for quantitative analysis. Um, in my previous video, I have um, um, shown you how to do uh, moderating variables using a categorical moderator. And in this video, I'm going to show you continue on by using a continuous moderator. So I'm going to have product value as my moderator here, which is a continuous value, and the product design to purchase intention. So I'm using my sportswear data. I'm going to go to analyze, regression, process. Make sure I reset everything. Outcome variable, purchase intention independent variable as the product design and the quantitative variable of product value in the moderator. This is a simple moderation uh, model, so it's going to be model one. Please look at the previous videos at how we determine whether it's uh, which model number we're going to be using. Long names, make sure we allow for long names. Conditioning, johnson uh it will be good to do that because we want to create um, a standardization of the values, uh, create plots, and press OK. And basically, we are going to look at, again, the interaction uh, variable. Uh, whereby in my previous video we said that the interaction variable is the one that will uh, determine whether or not there is an interaction. And here we can see that the interaction is not significant. So hence, when an interaction is not significant, it is not necessary for us to create the graph as is with the case of a um, uh, as is with the case of a uh, significant uh, moderator, which is an interaction. So, yes, so for moderation, you can use either a categorical. If you're using a categorical, make sure it is only two categories of zero and one. But for uh, your uh, quantitative variables, you can just put in the quantitative variables it will basically do the standardization of the uh, variable for you, um, even look into uh, three different sections of the variable. Okay, uh, that is all for me uh, in terms of uh, using quantitative variables. So please uh, send me any questions if you have any by email. Uh, and thank you very much for watching.